Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a capsule wardrobe tag video. I was tagged by Celeste from Bookish and Bell. I think she created this tag too, which is pretty cool. So make sure you check out her channel if you haven't already. Um, also, I'm filming outside today, which might be, hopefully won't be distracting. There's a lot of birds chirping and airplanes flying. So hopefully you find that charming. Um, let's get into the video. When did you first discover the capsule wardrobe concept? My first capsule wardrobe was three falls ago, I think. I'm gonna have to double check that. But I had heard about the concept before then. I just didn't think that it was something that I could do. Um, I loved Caroline from Unfancy and she was really the person that I drew most of my inspiration from when it comes to capsule wardrobe. So I really loved her take on it. I love that she didn't really have like a set number that she was married to. She was kind of flexible with um, making the system work for her and her lifestyle and I really appreciated that. Why do you do a capsule wardrobe? When I first got into capsule wardrobes, I did it as an experiment to see if I could be happy with a smaller wardrobe. I shopped a lot and I ended up wearing the same things over and over again even though I had a closet full of stuff and that's just not sustainable budget wise or like otherwise so I that's initially why I started my capsule wardrobe the reason I continue to have one over a year later is just honestly because it's so easy I love that I don't have decision fatigue in the morning anymore if I'm going to an event or something I the first thing I think is not, okay, I need to go out and buy something new for this event. I am much more, um, I'm much happier with my wardrobe, even though it's so much smaller than the one that I used to have, because it's all stuff that I know fits me well, it's stuff that goes with my style, and it's stuff that can be mixed and matched easily. What's the best part about doing a capsule wardrobe? So I guess I sort of answered that in my last question, just honestly the ease of getting ready in the morning. It's so easy, I keep saying that over and over again, but I just love that I have more creativity now to focus on other projects because my wardrobe is done and I know it's stuff that I love so I don't feel like I'm missing anything um, by having the smaller curated wardrobe. I feel like it's just so nice and I wish that I had done this sooner. What's your best tip for beginners? My best tip for beginners would be to just start. For me, when I um, was thinking about starting a capsule over a year ago, I let perfectionism get in the way of just starting. And when I say perfectionism, I don't mean like trying your best to have a great wardrobe. I mean like Perfectionism for me is like a roadblock that just like keeps me stuck and keeps me from moving or doing anything And that's kind of what it was for me in the beginning So I would say do your best to try not to let perfectionism stop you because It's not going to be perfect the first time and I feel like the mistakes you make will help you learn what you really do like and don't like so I would say just go for it Know that it's not going to be perfect the first time, but that's okay because that's how you learn how many pieces does your capsule wardrobe include? I honestly don't know. I have to go back and count in my video that I did, but I don't count anymore. I feel like I used to in the beginning, but now it just doesn't really matter to me. I don't even count shoes, and I know some of you have asked, like, what shoes do you have? And it's just, it's not that I have like a ton of shoes that I'm like hiding from you guys or something. I just have never been super into shoes, so I always forget to add them. What are your five most essential pieces? I probably should have thought of this before I started filming. So let's just see. I would say my black tank top. I got a new one, a new, new to me one for this capsule and I wear it all the time. Jeans, Birkenstocks, boots, so that's one, two, three, four, army jacket, five. I could wear that outfit particularly every day of my life and be totally happy. <laughs> What's the hardest part about doing a capsule wardrobe? For me, it's keeping up with my laundry. Not all my laundry, but my white top specifically. I usually just hand wash because I don't have enough of them to fill up a full load. So I tend to put that off until I have no <laughs> white items left in my capsule. Any additional comments? All in all, I would say if a capsule wardrobe is something you want to do, just do it. Don't let the like the number of items you have or the things that you think you need stop you. Just do it because it's going to be different for everyone because everyone's wardrobe needs to serve them in different ways. 
So that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and like this video if you liked it, and I'll see you guys on Monday. Bye!